collapsed in the garden and, and my daughter found me in the garden and I was rushed into intensive care and I was there for 11 days uh, in an induced coma and it then attacked all my internal organs so I lost four-fifths of my bowel. Suddenly everybody started wearing blue overalls including porters and anybody else that came near me. You can see people sort of looking and almost covering their mouths to prevent them breathing in the germs because they don't know what I've got. You've got to really work your way through it because it can make you feel very alienated, very isolated, especially when you're in a room like this, like I've been for a long time now, one room on your own. Because it's antibiotic resistant and because I'm pretty weak from all the stuff that's gone on over the last five years, I I ended up in intensive care and we were at the point of my two children having to make a decision whether to turn off the life support or not. Um, and because they were indecisive, my surgeon said, well, let's just give her another two or three days and see what happens. Wow. And I did come round, gradually. I think about it a lot and I try and get, I'm trying to get my house in order, if you like, so if the, the worst thing happens, then, you know, I'm not leaving a mess because I'm quite, um, aware that it could, the worst thing could happen and it's just um, got to be done. It's not beating me yet, it ain't beating me at the last hurdle. <laughs>